Okay, in this video, um, we're going to be doing uh, a little something to prep for a virtual min server. Okay, so I'm logged in right now to a freshly installed Ubuntu 16.04 long-term support server. So I'm going to run uh, a set of commands that I, I do to prep my servers. I'm, I'm behind uh, DHCP, so uh, certain things get set up wonky wrong because of the way DHCP works. My, my machines get told that they're uh, a Verizon.net type host and I'm not Verizon.net anything. So um, this couple of things that I'm doing here stops that from happening. So control X, save the modified buffer. Okay, uh, just a couple other things to check out. And um, if I, I I don't know how much you the viewer know about this, but uh, super user do, and then I don't really have a preference over my uh, editor. The uh, there's some people that are really stuck on VI, and um, I just. I don't know, I could never get myself to like that editor. I'm just checking here. So, okay, so that is a correct thing that I would have expected to see there. Um, I am going to be hosting some other things in the future, but I th don't think they need to be in right now. I think virtual men can put them in properly. And uh, just one last check to make sure this is correct. X. All right. Um, sometimes those things are in there wrong. All right. So this this is one thing that I always do to a server before I put webmin or virtualmin on it, um, and it's got to do with the Perl packages. It seems like the the webmin module for managing Perl packages doesn't work right until you have done a couple of things and I think this build essential is the most important of all the things um, so so I'm running that and then uh, the reason I do this is if you like when you open the Perl package managing module in webmin or virtualmin the, uh, there's a few packages that it says that, that you should install, um, recommended installs. And when you try and install them with the, the interface, uh, it just hangs, like no matter how you decide to try and put those in. So uh, I, after enough uh, Google searches, I found out that the, the build essential was something that you need to put on first. Um, after that, I, th I can't remember whether I still had trouble installing those packages or not, but I put a, uh, I used command lines to put a couple of them on before I even put webmin or, or virtualmin on. Okay, so there's the first one. Um, oh, and another thing. If you're new to these commands, the minus Y flag uh, after the install tells the, the shell to answer yes under all the default normal circumstances. Um, so it won't ask you any questions. The minus F flag, I believe, is full. So it, it puts in all uh, 
all related other packages. So if you were uh, using the, the Perl package manager, uh, the this lib test exception, okay, you would see the word test with two full colons and then exception. So when you're in the command line, this is a way to get to that same package and install that Perl package without hitting it. Okay, so the these first two are ones that are recommended by virtual min and these two I thought would install, but they're just related. There's uh um oh, I forget the name of it. It's uh Authen Authen something Authen colon colon wrap or something like that. It's an authentication package, but That's that one buzzing through. Oh, so uh, something that I didn't mention right at the start, this Ubuntu install um, of the packages selected, uh, obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but I had to pick SSH, uh, open SSH server as one of them. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to use this shell, this terminal window to install things on the server um, or record it. Uh, I lost my mouse. I got too many screens here. Okay. Um, the other package that I put on, because uh, I'm about to do a virtual min, and virtual min likes you to have the minimum server sitting there waiting for the virtual min install packages to go on, right? So one thing that I noticed during the setup of virtual min was if postgre wasn't installed on the server, then it would cause a snag in the initial setup in virtual min. So uh, when I installed this Ubuntu server, the packages I selected were PostgreSQL and OpenSSH server. Um, okay, so now we're installing a few packages. So you got the database interface in Perl. You've got the the database uh, thing for PG and the interface for MySQL through Perl. Okay. Another complaint that I get from um, from when you install a PHP MyAdmin is that you should have the mcrypt package installed. So I'm putting that on there too because I usually always put both uh, PHP MyAdmin for MySQL and the PG admin for PG. So so we're putting those packages on ahead of time. Okay, and now uh, now we're at the point where we're actually about to install the virtual min stuff. So virtual min is so easy to deal with that you know I it's just one of those things you you do things an old way for a long time you get real good at it and then you know you find out that somebody's already automated most of the headaches that you used to deal with and. I finally gave in and started trying this virtual min thing. So the first thing you do is you download their install script. Boom, that's in your your home directory of whatever you're logged in as. And then, um, then you go ahead and execute that script as sudo. So that shell script starts to run and um, Okay, so this, this message here would be different for different conditions. Like I have uh, a sufficient amount of, of RAM and a sufficient amount of hard drive space. Uh, if you didn't, I believe this install script would have noticed that and it would have tried to give you a minimum installation, but mine's good. So uh, they tell you right here, re rerun the script with the help flag, dash dash help. 
and that'll give you options to do uh, minimum installs so that it will fit on your system. So we're ready to go ahead. And basically you walk away and make your lunch at this point, which I'm going to do. Oh, also, if, uh, if you notice there's some flickery, uh, I've been having trouble getting this, this screen recording software to not flicker. The operating system is doing something where it refreshes screens and it, it makes the, the foreground invisible for split seconds. It's really annoying. I don't know if I fixed it for this video, but I hope I did. All right, I'm going to get lunch. You bad, 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 bad dog. Bad.
What's a good look? What's a good look?